Sorry for the abrupt end last time. <laughs> that was unexpected. But, uh, yes. Augmented reality. Back to graffiti. Augmented reality <laughs> missions. We'll get to those in a second. Here is a puzzle that I did wrong the first time, but still managed to win anyway. Mm. Go me. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the explosive gel on those three switches there. And then you go up here and you throw batarangs at these three switches. One, two, three. And then you blow up those switches. And then you get a trophy because all those switches are timed. But of I, course. I was somehow able to do it by exploding the top three switches and then throwing batarangs at the bottom three switches, which was really hard. But I managed to do it anyway. Olympus! Ah, uh, yes. Of course. The, uh. Casino or whatever, the place where Maxi Zeus operates out of. Ah. He is not in this game. Nope. So. Oh, so it's the Joker then? Maybe he's not so bad anymore. You think? Now, I think he's a total psychopath who'll probably kill us for kicks. So why are we still heading this way? Because we don't have a choice. Well, there you go. You could join Batman. Come be with Batman. I don't want to be Robin! <laughs> ah. Why not? If you're lucky, you'll grow up to be Nightwing. <laughs> Ah, if you're on that, that <laughs> counter where he just grabs her face and smashes it into a wall. Ah. We've lost the camera in sector three. Hmm. <laughs> and then he can just walk through the wall. <laughs> Power walk. Hi. You don't say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it always kind of reminds me of the beginning of, like, uh, The Dark Knight, where you have those guys who are just dressed up in hockey pads. <laughs> oh god, it's Batman! I'm not wearing hockey pads! <laughs> no, you tell if it was Bat- Did you just kick him off the roof? No. There's- oh. There's, um, magical roof force fields that prevent them from falling off. Aww. I, yeah. That would have been amazing. Oh, you should have done a swan dive into the pool. <laughs> uh, it's- Yeah. Oh. Sorry, but I can't swan dive into the night of my dreams. Oh. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just in case you want to try and pick up the pipe again. No, you're not. <laughs> we are gonna hurt you. Ow, he hurt me! So, you notice that they have weapons like, you know, bats and pipes. There is also another weapon. It's very potent. The small can. I am dead serious. Well, sometimes they'll pick up, like, a small can off the ground and throw it at you. It does damage. It does, like, one point of damage, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely uh, see the amount of damage it does on your uh, health meter. And you ever cut your fingers on one of these, Batman? Yeah, hurts like a bitch. And it does break your combo. <laughs> Look out, Batman! It's Tin Case Man! <laughs> da, da, da. What is that? My greatest it's weakness! Just as, <laughs> it's just as bad as, you know, like, Sharp Paper Edge Man. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna give you a paper cut. I, I hate how that works. It, I, there's actually a recent study done about this, or it might be recent, I'm not sure. Turns out, it hurts less to get your arm taken off than it does to get a paper cut. <laughs> Some say that it's because you're getting your whole nerves ripped out, but at the same time, I'm saying to yourself, You just had your arm ripped off! Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I'd rather be eaten by croc than face paper, man! Ah. <laughs> It's like, oh, well, oh. this could have went worse. I, I just remembered, at one point in time, there was a Wonder Woman villain called Paper Man. He was made of what paper. What did he do? Oh, oh, no. I'm pretty sure that was the Silver Age. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't golden. <laughs> that's, that's for damn sure. 
How did you? How did she beat him? She threw a bucket of water on him. I have no idea. I only read it. He crumpled. I only read it in a book. <laughs> Gra grabbed him by his head and folded him into a crane. No, how I have an invisible jet while I made a paper jet. I never understood the whole invisible jet thing. I don't get it. How does she fly it if it's invisible? Yeah. And also, apparently it's morphic, so it can turn into an invisible motorcycle, an invisible car. I, uh, you know, there are certain things that I'm willing to let go in the whole superhero comic universe, but invisible, transposable vehicle, I don't know. There's something about that that just didn't seem, not real, but just too far-fetched. Well, it was made by people who couldn't see anything. So, I s that doesn't explain anything. Well, <laughs> you know, it's invisible. They couldn't tell anyway. So. <laughs> so, so, so blind people have the ability to just make things invisible. Well, technically, everything's invisible to them. So, mm -hmm. we're just getting technical <laughs> here, aren't we? <laughs> we're talking about an actual invisibility shape-shifting vehicle. <laughs> Not, oh, I have something that's messed up with, you know, my eye, <laughs> and I can't see. Uh, the toy factory is, um, kind of suspicious Crank. looking. Crank! Someone's ignited a distress flare on this rooftop. Either I noticed. Inside needs my help, or it's a trap. <laughs> let's, let's, let's think about this, Batman. <laughs> You're in Joker's territory, as evidenced by these Joker thugs that we are fighting right now. Um, and it's a toy factory, which, you know, has Joker written all over it, so, uh, it's quite possibly a trap. Again, I would love to just see ragdoll physics over the top of the, uh, guardrail. Yeah, have... <laughs> That'd be pretty great. Sometimes they will actually, like, jump off into the water rather than face you. <laughs> Screw it, I'm out. <laughs> This is just no denied. Whoop. Don't think so. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. God. Batman is clear. Twelve <laughs> variation bonus. All right. I'm the best. Now what? And you get an achievement for that. Also, look, he has growly face. <laughs> this glitch happens every so often. It's great. He got, he has permanent growl face. I'm angry, but not sure why. Also, this is useful. <sighs> now when you backclaw somebody, you steal their guns. But um, what's great about growly face is that um, it also shows up in any facial animations he gets. So if... He can potential he can potentially get even growlier. So uh, you, you'll notice that uh, when we're talking to uh, a familiar so face here. Oh my face. God, it's Bane. A little. Last time I saw you, you were That's right Bane. Around the of my car. That is Bane. You knew that you is me. Bane. I wasn't trying to. I mean, what are you doing here? Doctor Young's Titan formula. The Payaso managed to send some off Arkham Island before you stopped him. How much more what did the you hell's a Payaso? to get off the island? Too much. That is why I am <laughs> here. I will Good not allow answer. the Basura of this city to abuse the Titan. Dr. Young used me to create it. It is my duty to destroy what remains. Oh. I'll help you. But understand this. If you try anything, I'm taking you down too. We find Titan <laughs> containers, we destroy them. Deal. <laughs> of course. Each container has a radio beacon built in. There were 12 containers left in this city. We take six each, then we meet back here. Five. I found one earlier and destroyed it. That line does change based on how many Titan containers you destroyed before meeting with Bane. Good point. So, uh, and you get the locations of the five other containers. This game has a lot of side quests. Yes, and it does. They're pretty cool. I like them a lot. Right. There are some that are like you know really intriguing to do, and then there's some that aren't bad. They're just kind of meh. Like, 
going around saving political prisoners. That one just takes a while to do. And it just seems tedious at times. Like, it's understandable what you're supposed to do, but at the same time, you're not really given a real motive. I, I kind of wish that, um, it, since it's randomly generated, it would be generated more often than it is. Yeah. So, also, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm pretty sure that to get the trophy I'm about to get, you're supposed to use the line launcher that you get later in the game. But... No. <laughs> See, there are multiple solutions to some of these riddles, which is great. Yeah, allows you to actually, you know, take your time and think about it. Also... Whoop. Whew, that was close. That was really close. So you hit that switch, and... Whoop. It opens up this side door, which you then ah uh, damn it, <laughs> which you then have to attempt to go through. Yep. <laughs> really precise. Yep, these are some pretty tight places that you have to get this remote control battering through. But I hit that switch. I got that Riddler trophy. And in the end, that's all that matters. I am a happy man. Whee. Welcome, now, the augmented reality missions, a lot of people complain about them, saying that they're pretty hard. Well, not the ones that you unlock right away. But, a lot of people don't really like them. Oh, also there's a guy right there. But, what you gotta do is... You gotta fly through rings. It's Superman 64! Ah! Oh no! Mission 1, fly through the rings. Mission 2, fly through the rings. What the? Final mission, fly through the rings. No, 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 no. Also, here's a memory puzzle. Hmm. Sure look difficult. They're talking about Mr. Freeze. They're complaining about how cold the winters are. And it's like, man, do you remember winters being this cold? No, it must be Mr. Freeze! Obviously. He's the one cooling the planet! You could have said freezer. <laughs> Freezers are colder. Mm. And also, his name is Mr. Freeze. Yeah, it's kind of set up there, man, and you ruined it. Too bad. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. They didn't think about it. <laughs> this sure is some awesome augmented reality stuff. I wonder if it's powered by Nintendo. <laughs> we Down, down. Now to make a giant card and take my picture with Mario. Also, here's a secret. Ooh. Evil or no? Uh. So we, we, go back. Arkham symbol. No. Uh. City. Yes. There we go. City of Assam, no. City of Ghosts, no. City of Freaks, no. City of Pent, no. City of Dismay, no. Wait, no. Banana. Ghosts, no. Banana. Terror. There we go. Oh. Uh, I wonder what that's supposed to mean. What the? Oh goodness! What? Oh my goodness! Who is this man? <laughs> well, that happened. Good morning. That <laughs> happened. Oh, what's this here? Uh, uh Doctor J. Crane. Ah! Oh dear. Oh no. 
That's that the the g c c c crow scare guy. Ah. Uh -uh. Boy, that sure is a sequel hook if I ever saw one. There is a lot of cameras busted in Sector 3, buddy. So, uh... Just FYI. That's a pretty cool hidden secret thing. Kind of like the secret room in Arkham Asylum. Mm-hmm. And, uh, It's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so this... These augmented reality training things are mainly supposed to teach you all about dive bombing and, uh pulling up in order to uh, cross greater distances than gliding normally. Right. And, uh, to be honest, getting around like this is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. It complete. is a lot of fun. And, uh, ooh, complete one more to unlock the Grapnel Boost upgrade. That sounds like something relevant to my interests. Not bad, not bad. I wanted to be here! I mean, uh, he wanted to be here. I'm, I'm not Bruce Wayne. It's really weird, because did Bruce Wayne actually get put in Arkham City, or did he just sort of, like, end up in here? The intro sequence had him in a press conference outside of Arkham City. And then he got captured by Tiger Guards and thrown in here. Well, hmm... See, it's at that point in time, and I'm just like, that's controversial, then. Because whether or not he got put things, in here. Did I forget to pack something? Yeah. No, Alfred, I think I need the grapnel boost. But Mr. Fox told you it's not yet ready for field deployment. It's still yeah. Prototype stage. Apparently, in this continuity, um, just like in the uh, recent movies, Mr. Fox is privy to Batman's Batmaning. Mm-hmm. Also, that well, he is Morgan Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. He is God. He does know he everything. He was he was God in a future incarnation. Anyway, the grapnel boost is very handy. Uh, basically, if you double tap A while you're um, grapneling somewhere, you'll speed up and then you'll launch yourself over the roof. Right. So it's pretty handy for getting around without ever touching anything ever. Yeah, without, you know, without you having to, you know, go out of your way, you could then basically slingshot your way up through something. You can also use it to take down dudes, which is unbelievably fun. Very satisfying. Yes. Bam. Just pardon me while I use mostly my feet. <laughs> Oh jeez. I don't like getting my hands dirty. This seems to be a camera malfunction in sector three. Yeah, malfunction meaning it exploded. It me yeah. Camera failures all over sector three. Whoop! Thank you. Yeah. I love doing that. And that is a Riddler challenge, performing a takedown like that, so it is worth doing. And we're just gonna solve another Riddler riddle. Whoosh. Boom. Ah, camera, why didn't you switch around? No! Damn you, mechanic! It's supposed to switch around when you hit a wall, but it didn't for some reason. Oh, no. And go! I always found it cool, like, uh, the bat cape physics whenever you got close to something how it would like slowly fold away from it yep and they're even better if you get the PC version and have physics turned on uh, no get the trophy yes there we go so um by completing the AR training we have unlocked advanced AR training Ooh. this is what a lot of people got annoyed about because apparently it's really difficult um, because it's advanced. Yeah. Um, the, the advanced AR training requires a lot more precision, and I think why a lot of people keep screwing up on it is because when they pull up, they don't do it lightly. They just instantly go into, whoop, time to go up now, which will screw you up. Reality training activated. It's like, you know, 
it's kind of like if you're pulling up on a plane, you know, you don't just immediately snap upward. Yeah, you need to uh, do it gradually. Nice and easy. And by solving that AR training, you pretty much automatically get this Riddler challenge. Also, there are some timed plates like this one. We need to wait until it turns green. Bam. Balloons! <laughs> and of course, here's a radio tower that has a Riddler trophy on it. How did the Riddler put all these stuff things here? He's been in Arkham City for a while, and he probably ha he has his own gang, so they probably he does. That's put right. them around. Yeah. So I have an idea, guys. Let's mess with Batman. Uh, sir, didn't you do that in the last game? What game? Don't break the fourth wall. Sorry, sir. We don't play games. And that's another Riddler challenge. Gliding for over 150 meters. Without using the grapple boost. There's another one. Where you glide 250 meters. And you're allowed to use the grapple boost. And that's what I'm trying to get right now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if you're doing the butterfly stroke while you're swimming. Yeah. Except it's the bat stroke while you're flying. Touche. <laughs> Bonk. Somebody need help? Goomba Stomp! Ow. Learned that one from Mario. Squeeze! 100 points. Oh, here's a fun puzzle. And basically teaches you can throw a batarang and then immediately throw a remote control batarang right after to hit two switches in rapid succession. Which is pre is used in a couple of other puzzles. Mm -hmm. I ate all the food. <laughs> all for Batman. All for Batman. It's hard work, you know, you gotta keep your strength up. I like how someone just shouted, it's the Batman, yet no one saw you, and the only way they could tell was the sound of your body crashing through a wall. Yeah. Oh, that guy picked up a can. Did he throw it? Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know your Stay weakness, back. Batman! Beans! Ah, uh, no! Not beans! Butcher's baked beans, ah! Uh! Secret recipe, motherfucker! The commercial with the terribly photoshopped cans! Ah! <laughs> and the talking dog. <laughs> the talking dog. No! I highly doubt that. Uh, have you have you seen that uh, Bush's chili commercial where the cans are photoshopped in in every yep. shot? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's great. They're talking to nothing. There are no cans. It's kind of like when you wa when you watch an old movie yeah. and they're clearly not looking at whatever fantasy creature it is. They're obviously looking at. They're told from the director here. Just look up into space. Bush is chilly. That'll warm me up. Boom. Ow. Up. Oh. Telephone time. Just gonna answer this phone. Well, can you hear me now? We're we're gonna get an upgrade, and then we're gonna answer the phone. Actually, we're gonna pick up free flow part? focus. See you all next time when I explain this. Upgraded. <laughs>